In this video, I'll show you how to make a simple read more text expander using nothing but an Elementor uh, accordion. I find this is pretty handy for that instance where you ask for two paragraphs of copy and then you are provided with something like eight. Um, so this is a simple way to kind of uh, keep the page looking nice, but allow people to access more text without needing to add a lot of complexity or plugins. So let's check it out. Okay, so let me show you how I put this together. It's very simple. I just uh, put some dummy content on the page, right? So I have a container and inside of it, I use my pre-built container system for a two column layout. Uh, so I've got a text uh, container on the left and then on the right, just a placeholder media image. Uh, but then all we have here for the read more is uh, the accordion. So by default, if I were to take uh, the Elementor accordion and drag it in, <clears throat> it'll look something like this. So all we're actually doing <clears throat> is fiddling with the settings to get it to look like a, a read more, but it's really just item one. Uh, and then I do a trick to change it from read more to read less. So when it's open, it says read less. When it's closed, it says read more. So uh, let's take a look at the, the settings for this. If I could select it. So you can see here, I have one item. And if you look at it, it, uh, I can put this in the description, but it says read more, but I use some span classes so that I can have the words uh, more and less. So if you look at it, I have read more, read less, uh, written in one line, and I wrap a span around each of the, the word more and the word less. And then what I do is I use some CSS, which I put on this little expander. So, so if I click on it, the accordion go to advanced you'll see i added a class called text expander text dash expander this could be whatever you want the class name uh, and then i've written some css which i'll also put in the description and so all i'm saying here is uh i'm saying look when the state is normal uh d display none for the read less span so we're not going to show the word less but when the state is open uh, for my text expander uh, I want to hide the read more and show the read less. That's all that the CSS does. And, and you could just paste this in and then keep that text expander class. Or if you wanted to, if you had different naming conventions, you could change text expander to whatever you wanted. You just need to make sure that under layout uh, that you put the class here with no period. Uh, and that should take care of the read more, read less. If I take the class off, you'll see how it looks uh, without, without that CSS. And I mean, generally that that's all there is to it. So if we look at the accordion settings, you'll see uh, I have my item position to the left. I have my icon to the right. I uploaded a, a custom arrow, but you could click on the icon library, choose whatever you want. Um, interactions, I set the default state to all collapse. This is a nice option. It used to be that the first one was always open in an accordion, but now it can just have them collapsed. Uh, so that's nice. I can control the speed of the animation. I wrote a little extra thing to get this to nudge in like that. Um, I don't even remember where I put that CSS. It's somewhere else, but you don't have to do that. It's just a little extra thing. Uh, and then I just fiddle with the settings uh, to get the spacing how I want. And it's kind of cool now with these new accordions. The contents, if you look over here, like for the first option, it's really just a container. And then you can put whatever you want inside of it. So like I could put more containers, more columns. I could build whatever I want inside that toggle. Um, so what I did is I clicked on the content container and I, I added, I use variables to control my padding, but I added that, that little space that's at the top there, um, I added to the container. But basically by fiddling with the styling for the expander and the content inside, I can... I can make a nice little toggle. If you if you want to see, I could like, for example, I could even drop something in here like a video um, and then I could hide it, right? So by default, it doesn't show, but if it read more, oh wow, we could come up with some cool layouts uh, for content underneath uh, our little toggle. So I think it's a handy trick. One potential downside, I guess, is that the read less is sitting up here at the top. So if you had a lot, <laughs> if someone wanted to click read less, they'd have to go all the way up here. I could write some code to put a read less at the bottom that probably uh, interacts with the accordion and closes it. But for my use case, uh, this is fine. Then I don't need an extra plugin uh, It ties into Elementor styles. I think it's a handy little trick uh, for an expander for content. 
Uh, hopefully you found this useful. If anybody has any improvements on this, please let me know. And uh, please consider subscribing and spreading the word about King Grizzly. Thanks. Have a good day.